What's up everyone, it's hey John and I Jabber Opportunities nonstop and today I want to discuss Safu because they are doing, well, I would say pretty darn well given all of the messed up circumstances. Have you ever been to a Reddit, a Discord or a Telegram and these paid admins, they block and they restrain you from asking your valid questions? Well, come over to reddit.com r slash truth over profit. This was created as a community for you so you can participate and partake and let us know who are the bad actors so we can avoid the crypto landmines and get into the crypto gems. So come join us so we can share information and grow as a community. I will see you there. Safu, what the heck is going on? Well, let's start off with the bad news. Stir tick butted us, yes, if you didn't know. Basically what happened was that Surtech didn't do their due diligence. They just said, hey, Brian Legend is a scammer and boom, they put out an alert on Twitter and they literally destroyed our uptrend. In my opinion, that was very vicious and very heinous. Moving on off that, the timeline is now that we're seeing Brian Legend springing into action. We were seeing some whales doing some messed up actions in terms of using the Surtech FUD to move the prices up and down to create fear, uncertainty, and doubt in the charts. With that being said, we did see the whales succeed to a certain degree, but when I said Brian Legend springs into action, he used a Seifu insurance fund and he bought a million dollars worth. And booyah, all of a sudden the whales, well, they stopped messing about because who knows, the next time the whales buy, well, Brian may just buy it after you sell it and boom, it'll push a price up and you'll be selling at the bottom and you will never be able to see that price ever again. And what better way to scare a whale than to use the power of the Safu Insurance Fund to deter such vicious actions. Safu Protocol on Twitter. After a hard last few days, Safu is starting to crawl back out of its cave. The BNB chain hot pairs. Safu is number seven. Safu, we just burned another $211,000 of Safu. That equates to about 1,500 Safus into the fire pit. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Brian Legend is doing an absolute beast of a work here in terms of keeping the price action of Safu positive because these whales guess what? They are now deterred because you never know when the $2.5 million worth of Safu insurance fund will be used against you whales. Now, there are many theories going around as to who and why, but the point being is that it doesn't matter what their intentions are. Just know that if you do decide to do it, well, the Safu insurance fund will get you. And more importantly, we're seeing a huge amount of burn in Safu. And as you know, the fire pit is hungry. Let's go ahead and cover a few stats here. The Safu price currently is at $145.67. The current circuiting supply is at 494,967. Total supply is 582,500. The market treasury wallet is about $2.9 million. The Safu Insurance Fund is $2.1 million. The value of the fire pit has about 87,500 Safus, and that's 15.02% burned in the first literal 27 days of existence for Safu. These are all very positive news. And the most important thing here is that fire pit. We are seeing it consistently burn. And that is what you want to see. Burn, burn, burn. The more, the merrier the better. And we can see that we have a very, very, very healthy, healthy market treasury. This means we have money for insurance. We have money for marketing and we have money to do things, enhancements, AWS, moving the website out. We're going to see safe moon possibly get listed in the following week. By Monday or Tuesday, we should have some more definitive news in terms of what is available to do. We are going to see a Seifu racing team. We're seeing extreme long-term marketing. We're seeing a vision. We're seeing a goal. And Brian is spearheading all of these operations. And if you don't believe in a man, look at the roadmap, folks. It's very ambitious. And I believe as a community, we can do it together. And along the way, you're going to see Brian Legend be very, very transparent. I have never seen such an amazing and transparent CEO. This will continue to bring in new investors and the ones who are worried, who are scared when they see what he does and how he achieves it. 
you're going to say, man, why did I buy those other tokens? Well, I don't know. Because I was chasing the new shiny thing? Well, it's okay. You're always welcome back to come to Seifu and buy some more. You can sell low and buy high. It's okay. It's your decision. But at the end of the day, this is one of the better tokens in my opinion. And 2022 is gearing up to be the year of the rebased tokens. Last year, it was the BUSD Reflections. This year, I believe it's going to be rebasing. Because we're seeing literally, I have seen about maybe 20 plus Seifu knockoffs come out ever since the launch of Seifu. And Seifu has only been around for about literally 27 days. It isn't even one month old yet. And people are ripping out their code and just copy pasting it and using it. And you're seeing all of these, well, forks. They are literally robbing your money if you invested into it. All I got to say is stay away and be careful. Okay, folks, here we are looking at the safe food charts. We are on the four hour perspective and we can currently see the current price is $146.26. And look right here. We can see a beautiful Seifu, the highest paying DeFi protocol ad on Dex Tools. This is fantastic. And this tells you number nine, Seifu on the top of the moving banner here. We can see Seifu is now on the banner again. I haven't seen it here for a few days ever since the Stratic FUD, but now we are back there. And now we have a few things to look into here. So we are trading literally sideways. We saw a big buy of $2.15 million on March 22nd, around 4 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And part of this volume is due to Brian using the Safe Foo Insurance Fund to scare the whales. And after that, you stop seeing the whales messing about. So the question here is, what are we doing and are we scared? Well, I would say 126.33 will be your support line. And we've tested it literally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times now it's been tested and it's bounced off of it. Now we are also on a short term downward trend line. You can see currently we are breaking through this trend line, but we are just trading sideways. And if you zoom in, we can see an actual uptick. So even though it looks like it's trading sideways from a far away, but if you zoom in, you can see that we're actually starting to trend up. And I believe this is where we see the next movement up, the next leg for Seifu. In my opinion, I think this is fantastic. And I believe we have nothing to worry about because Brian Legend is heading the ship up. So with all that being said, last week was a very, very, very tumultuous week. And let's just go ahead and start the new week Monday, tomorrow. Hey, you know what? Let's start off with a better foot forward. Let's do the past in the past and let's move forward. And so far we're seeing people, you know what? Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and buy some more. We're seeing Brian Legend burning some more tokens with the tokens that was purchased. And you know what? And that gives me a lot of confidence as a Seifu investor. The best way for you guys to support the channel is by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Get $250 in Bitcoin using my BlockFi link down below in the description. Get $25 in Kronos using my Crypto.com referral code. Get 5 free stocks courtesy of Weeble using my code and create an account and depositing $0.01 cent or even $1 and you will get 5 free stocks valued up to $8,000. And most importantly, have an awesome day and I will catch you all on the next one.